ago at Easter uh, 2015, and I had been uh, raised Catholic and feeling a void, like I was missing something. Uh, and I tried a Lutheran church for a little bit, and I still felt uh, as though I was, you know, something was missing. And um, just so happens that uh, I ended up in this parking lot on. Uh, on Easter of last year, 2015. Even though I had always, you know, been raised to know Jesus and God, a lot of the things that I knew, um, there was a lot that I didn't know. And, um, and I think that that was the piece that was missing that, you know, I never really knew about having that personal relationship with God. Um, you know, I never really learned about repentance. I never really learned about those things. Um, and that is really what, you know, really what drew me here. You know, knowing in the past what confession was, but not necessarily what repentance was and what the main, you know, that to me there's a huge difference between the two. Um, I was able to understand that. And, you know, on that day, I, I you know, gave myself to Jesus. Uh, being made new to me, um, it's kind of like almost doing a 180, like turning away from your past life, uh, things that were acceptable acceptable to me before. Uh, you know, I really didn't think so much about, uh, you know, how my actions were not only impacting, you know, most importantly, you know, Jesus, you know, and, and God and, and the way he wanted me to live, but also how they were impacting other people. And I understood that I had a kind of uh, turn away from behaviors and things that I may have rationalized to have been acceptable. So I really think, you know, being made new is really having that grace to be able to realize you can turn away, you can ask God for forgiveness. You know, heaven is something that I can't earn, where, you know, prior to me walking in here, it was something where I, that I really thought, you know, I had to do so many things to try and get into heaven. All of us fall short. It's really impossible. Uh, so I think that's one of the reasons I was missing something. There was something to avoid because no matter what I did, then something would happen and you'd fall back a little bit. And that's kind of what you focus on. And then I had that guilt and that, and, and that kind of drew you down. Turning away from that now, I have that, I have the understanding, that belief and that faith that, you know, I can talk to God you know, ask for forgiveness and, you know, he'll forgive me and then I can move on. I don't have to dwell on it. I don't have to feel that guilt because my sins have been paid for. My name is Michael Berger and I have been made new.